Hey guys, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the WBFS ISO conversion. It's super, super easy. And I'm gonna have to do this all over again, but that's completely fine. So and this is just an example. So teaching you guys is gonna be great. Um, so we're gonna do this. Let's just get right into it. So your RVZ files, you're gonna get this from your sites like rompures.com. Uh, many of other sites are going to be an RV, RVZ or something like that, RVS or something like that. Keep being repetitive, it's driving me nuts, but um, yep, you download it, it's here. Now you need to convert that, so you want to get Dolphin. Open Dolphin up. At first, you want to go right-click here in this middle area and then click on uh, File Location. Um, so open Containing Folder for an example. Your priority guys will not see this because you already downloaded the um, application, so you're going to hit File and then open user folder. And then you're gonna have to put the game um, somewhere in here in this area. Not in, the, not in the folder, but in this area. Not in a folder, in this area, you're gonna have to find a spot to put the game. Um, the game will come up, right click, hit uh, convert file, ISO, convert. It's gonna ask you for a location where you wanna put it. And I ended up putting mine in an Harry Potter folder that I created in the book drive, yes. So I made Harry Potter, came here, got my ISO file. Now the ISO file, when you come here, you're gonna download ISO to WBFS. This is what it looks like. You wanna go to ISO file, browse, you wanna click on this, where you made your Harry Potter folder. Click that. This is gonna automatically generate in the same folder where you did the Harry Potter folder, and you're gonna hit convert. Now for clarity, for the four gigabyte splits and the two gigabyte splits, these are gonna be your games like Super Smash, Legends of Zelda, Pokemon, your bigger, bigger games. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix isn't that big, it's probably like two gigabytes. Um, so we're not gonna split it, so we're just gonna convert it. But if you did have a game like Super Smash that's like 12 gigabytes, like 10 gigabytes, then you most definitely wanna hit split into fours and then um, hit convert. And then it'll give you in halves, but for this example, we have our WBFS file. It's already loaded up. Um, so now what we're gonna do is WBFS is ready. And it's already converted. So with the WBFS file, what we're gonna do is go to our SD card. Uh, where is our SD card? Give me a quick second. So an SD card, it's gonna mock up. It's gonna look like this, WBFS. Literally, it's gonna look just like this. WBFS. It might have some other stuff, but basically, it's gonna look like this. This stuff is basically what you want inside of here. And you'll see in this example, they're inside of here. Um, you have all this stuff here, and as you can tell, there's a game code with this that goes right after. When you click on that, your WBFS file should be in here for this example. Um, go back to so Mario Kart for an example. See how this is split? It's because the game's too big. So they're split just like that with the game code that there would be a fast. So for this one, it would be right click here. Um, see, so the, here it's doing the same thing to me again. Not sure why, but um, you would type it out just like this in the game code. So for the Harry Potter, um, you would just type in Harry Potter. If you don't have to type in the whole title because if you type in the whole title, it's gonna disappear and you'll probably get very disorganized doing this. So just type in Harry Potter and maybe you put Phoenix then it's not a coma, as you can tell. It's not a comma, sorry. But it's, it has little teeth on it, so you want to use those. Now, to get that code, what you're going to do is go to a website called... I think it's We Catalog something something. Let me verify with that. So the website is called Game TDB. So Tyler Daniel Baker. Um, you want to use the We section, obviously. Make sure you're in the US. Now type in the game that you want. So I want Harry Potter, Phoenix. So we search that up. Let's load. Now you're gonna get these results. You don't want those. Uh, you want Harry Potter, Phoenix. Obviously, it's my spot wrong. That's your code right there R5PE69. You want to copy that code. And uh, obviously for this example, 
it's gonna be a little bit hard, but um, you make your folder again, Harry Potter, those that straight tooth, that comma, we're gonna call it for this example, and then you're gonna put that code that we just read off with that other comma that's facing the other way. Now, when you're done with that, you open it. Now you're gonna put that same code that you made for the folder, and you're gonna remove all the text that you got from the regular folder, from the regular file that says, um, Harry Potter, Phoenix, uh, ISO, or WBFS, blah, blah, blah. You just want to remove the rest of the text of the title of the game and just put that as the title of the game inside of the folder, if that makes a lot of sense. And then uh, the dot WBFS is just gonna come up naturally. If this video made a lot of sense, drop a comment below. I know people are gonna need this information for converting their Wii games to WBFS. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. I answer in a very timely manner and I take this YouTube stuff seriously. So most definitely comment below and I'll get back to you and try to help you throughout this whole process. It's annoying at first, but it pays really well. So I will say that. Peace out guys.